This webinar is designed to help you understand the differences between Varnish Enterprise and Varnish Cash and discover which solution is right for your use case or content delivery challenge. So whether you're an experienced Varnish user or new to the Varnish ecosystem, after watching this short explanation, you'll know exactly which solution is best for helping you achieve your aims. Before we dive into some of the functional differences, a good question to ask yourself as you evaluate Varnish is, are you looking for a project or a product? Varnish Cash is a project. You could say that it's a project both in the way that it develops collaboratively according to open source principles, and also how it is deployed, maintained and updated by its users. Varnish Enterprise is a commercial product. It is developed and strengthened in line with commercial objectives and available with all the benefits of an enterprise product, like more features, long-term support, and greater performance. The Varnish Cash project is community-based, but sponsored by the Varnish software team, who have been involved in the project for a long time and make the most significant contributions to the software. Anyone else can look at the code and make contributions to the project as well. So which is a collaborative effort that focuses on what, what is important for the community. The project takes a defensive development approach, which means making small changes to avoid making the code base overly complex. As a commercial product, Varnish Enterprise is maintained by a team of full-time developers and engineers and comes with fully stable and tested releases, predictable development life cycles, SLAs, 24-hour support and professional services. With the resources to conduct R&D, Varnish Software develops new features and functionality in line with the requirements of the content delivery market, even if they are hard to do. Features and roadmaps are based on what customers need and are asking for, rather than simply what people are able to work on at any one time. So that's something to think about, the distinction between a project and a product. And it's also why it's true that Varnish Enterprise and Varnish Cash are not in competition. It's about finding the right tool for the job. And whatever your content delivery goals, one Varnish solution will be more suited to that task. They serve very different purposes and audiences. If you're interested in some more differences between the Varnish Cash projects and the Varnish Enterprise products, we've summarized this in a table. So you can pause the video now to read this over or download our free guide about this topic from the Varnish website. Just to go through a short history of Varnish to see how the solutions relate. The open source Varnish Cash project was initiated by the online branch of a major newspaper that had reached over 45 million weekly page views and was looking for a way to reduce their server usage while loading pages faster. The Varnish Cash project was born after funding was secured and commercial partners provided development tools and support. These operations were later spun off into their own dedicated company, Varnish Software. Varnish Software then released a commercial offering distinct from the open source project Originally called Varnish Cash Plus, it's now known as Varnish Enterprise. There are many good reasons for releasing a commercial variant of Varnish technology. Simply put, the wider content delivery market was crying out for a way to use Varnish for a wider variety of new use cases, like streaming video live and on demand and constructing custom CDNs. And these use cases have only grown in popularity. Varnish Enterprise was also later packaged into three full solutions each optimized for a specific content delivery domain. Streaming server for delivering live, OTT, VOD, and HD video. DIY CDN for building customized CDNs using pre-built, pre-optimized components. And web and API acceleration for delivering dynamic, static, and personalized web content. So over time, the two solutions now serve very different purposes. And despite their shared history and the underlying Varnish technology, they are apples to oranges. Let's touch on an important part of choosing a Varnish solution now. Professional services and support encompasses all the guidance and help Varnish software provides before, during and after Varnish is installed. As an open source project, Varnish Cache does not come with 
professional services or support as standard, but there is an active Varnish Cash community with troubleshooting and problem solving via mailing lists, forums, and documentation maintained by Varnish software. Still, there's a certain amount of DIY with Varnish Cash, though learning how to deploy and maintain it optimally can be fun. For many organizations and enterprise content providers though, their risk appetite and the complexity of their existing infrastructure means it would be genuinely unthinkable to go it alone. Making a long-term investment in technology also requires calculable ROI, plus assurance of support, updates, security fixes, and everything required to secure ongoing performance in a competitive market. Envirage Enterprise is built around these requirements and comes with the full arsenal of professional services and support, whether it's for planning and implementing Varnish Enterprise, or dedicated engineers on hand to offer day-to-day -day troubleshooting fixes. You also get access to developers for recommendations, code reviews and feature requests, as well as regular managed updates, predictable releases and long software life cycles. There's also the full array of bug and security testing, plus security updates are backported so you can be sure of long-term protection. We can see how this helps during the journey of a Varnish Enterprise deployment. From the beginning stages, when you're planning how to design and deploy Varnish Enterprise to once it's in use, and you have to be the ability to talk to the development team and suggest features, plus you have the full-time support and the guidance available. So when should you use Varnish Cache? Learning how to use Varnish Cache can be highly rewarding. So if you're happy to figure things out on your own and troubleshoot with the help of the Varnish community, Varnish Cache can be the ideal project for you and your website. Of course, there is also the chance to contribute to the project personally with features and fixes that you found useful, which you may think may be of use to others. It will certainly have a huge impact on the speed of your website as well. And even using the most basic setup is still the best open source caching solution available. So for website acceleration, origin protection, and load balancing, Varnish Cache is a lightweight option that delivers great performance, and it can speed up website delivery by 300% while offloading almost all requests to the backend. And when should you use Varnish Enterprise instead? Varnish Enterprise was brought into life in part by the proliferation of content delivery use cases and the need for greater performance. So any high traffic content heavy web service will benefit from this additional performance and stability. But there are many other use cases that Varnish Enterprise unlocks, such as high performance streaming. Varnish Enterprise is made for streaming and is used by the biggest names in the industry to offer high performance, low latency streaming that protects origin servers from the effects of huge demand as well. And for streaming video on demand, it supports 100 terabyte plus disk storage and cache so content can be stored close to users and content can be predictively fetched from the back end and replicated across the network as well. For streaming live and OTT it enables high throughput request coalescing that combines back end requests to avoid overload in the back end as well as content replication across servers and many more features. Some of the use cases it enables include building customized private and hybrid CDNs by combining high performance edge caching nodes with origin protection and edge logic, which is really giving you the control and visibility and the ability to place points of presence based on unique needs rather than the generalized needs of a commercial CDN's customer base. And the professional services it comes with are a crucial aspect for supporting the optimal configuration of components. There's an array of features for routing traffic, load balancing, maintaining high speed, and so on. And because Varnish Enterprise offers a customizable toolkit of high performance edge caching nodes, as well as its own language for programmable edge logic, it's ideal for building high performance edge computing platforms. You can execute policy and logic at the network edge on high speed infrastructure rather than client side with potential for sub millisecond server response times and 150 gigabit per second throughput. Many enterprise customers use Varnish Enterprise to cache large objects, often using protected S3 or a similar backend. 
It's perfect for caching large objects and accelerating delivery of content stored in backend object storage with the multi terabyte disk storage APIs that connects with object storage systems and the ability to sign or resign S3 requests. And it also enables cross server content replication too. And as part of its flexibility, it's able to optimize the content delivery experience for devices at the edge. So it lets you migrate decision making and content rendering to the network edge and assemble content optimized for particular devices on high speed infrastructure rather than client side, which significantly minimizes latency. Let's just focus on some really important aspects of the differences between the open source projects and Varnish Enterprise. Varnish Enterprise is about extreme performance, so many of the features and optimizations are dedicated to this. And it's not just the difference between the two, it's not just an increment or a small percent percentage. Either aspects of the optimizations in Varnish Enterprise results when taken together in a huge performance increase. But for one example, Varnish Enterprise features native or in-process TLS, and this means it can reach 150 gig gigabits per second throughput from a single off-the-shelf server. This is because including TLS termination in-process streamlines the web process by removing the additional network hop necessary when using a, an external TLS terminator, though it offers this too and can still reach 100 gigabits per second using it. So in-process TLS though really pushes the boundaries of performance and it makes Varnish Enterprise the fastest and most resource efficient solution on the market really. And it's a great way also to future-proof your setup because this will be the fastest speed available for a long time to come. There are also major differences in terms of security. Varnish Enterprise is strengthened and put through extensive testing for bugs and security flaws with longer support periods and backported updates too. And Varnish Enterprise users will also know about any vulnerabilities and associated security risks before the open source community. With support, SLAs and insurance, as well as benefiting from the stability of Varnish Enterprise releases, Varnish Enterprise users can be more resilient and up to date with the latest security best practices. And there are additional security features within Varnish Enterprise too, such as web application firewall, full cache encryption and front and back end TLS, plus support for various authentication methods, access controls, geofencing and IP blocking to be able to control access to content in a flexible and customizable way. So this short webinar has been about the differences between Varnish Enterprise and Varnish Cache. Notably, you'll have seen that it's not just a case of comparing feature lists, although there are major differences there. A lot of the intangible things like support, access to developers and software life cycles will be crucial in many contexts. And there's also that difference in developmental approach in terms of focusing on the needs of the customer and the market when it comes to the commercial products of Arnish Enterprise. If you're interested in finding out more or talking to an expert or starting a free trial, please do visit our website and you'll also find more webinars on different topics there too. Thank you very much for joining.